Taj Mahal, a symbol of love. Taj Mahal, a jewel of Muslim art in India, and one of the universally admired masterpieces of the world's heritage. It was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983 and was declared a winner of the Seven Wonders of the World in 2007. It is regarded as the best example of Mughal architecture and a symbol of India's rich history. Taj Mahal was a ivory white marble mausoleum on the south bank of the Yamuna River Agra, India. The tomb is the centerpiece of a 42-acre complex, which includes a masjid, guest house, jawab, and gateway. Built by Mughal Sultan Shah Jahan in the memory of his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal, a Persian princess. Construction started in 1632 AD and completed in 1643 AD. It took efforts from 22,000 laborers, painters, embroidery artists and stonecutters to shape the Taj Mahal under the guidance of the court architect of the Sultan, Ustad Ahmed Lahori. Taj Mahal incorporates and expands on design traditions of Persian and earlier Mughal architecture. Specific inspiration came from Gure Amir, the tomb of Timur, Humayun's tomb. Etamad ul Dolah tomb, and Shah Jahan Om Jama Masjid in Delhi. The tomb is the central focus of the entire complex of the Taj Mahal. It is a large white marble structure standing on a square plinth. The most spectacular feature is the marble dome that surmounts the tomb. The dome is nearly 115 feet high. Because of its shape, the dome is often called an onion dome. The shape of the dome is emphasized by four smaller domes, known as chattari, placed at its corners, which replicate the onion shape of the main dome. The top is decorated with a lotus design. The main finial was originally made of gold, but was replaced by a copy made of gilded bronze in the early 19th century. The finial is topped by moon, a typical Islamic motif whose horns point heavenward. The base structure is a large multi-chambered cube, with chamfered corners forming an unequal eight-sided structure that is 180 feet on each of the four long sides. Each side of Ivan is framed with a huge archway, known as Pishtak, with two similarly shaped arched balconies, stacked on either side. The minarets, which are each 130 feet tall, a traditional element of mosques, used by the Mosin, to call the Islamic faithful to prayer. Each is effectively divided into three equal parts, by two working balconies that ring the tower. At the top of the tower is a final balcony, surmounted by a chattari, that mirrors the design of those on the tomb. The chattari all share the same decorative elements of a lotus design topped by a gilded finial. The calligraphy of Quran Ayat was created in 1609 AD by a calligrapher named Abdul Haq. Sultan Shah Jahan conferred the title of Amanit Khan upon him as a reward for his uh, dazzling virtuosity. Much of the Quran Ayat calligraphy is composed of florid Thulut script made of jasper or black marble and laid in white marble panels. Higher panels calligraphy are written in slightly larger script to reduce the skewing effect when viewed from below. There is also calligraphy of Persian poems on the white marble interior wall. The translucent white marble was brought from Makrana, Rajasthan. The jasper from Punjab, jade and crystal from China. The turquoise was from Tibet. And the lapis lazuli from Afghanistan. While the sapphire came from Sri Lanka. And the carnelian from Arabia. In all, 28 types of precious and semi-precious stones were inlaid into the white marble.
The main gateway at Darwaza is a monumental structure built primarily of marble. Its archways mirror the shape of the tomb's archways. Its peshtak arches incorporate the Quran ayat calligraphy that decorates the tomb. The vaulted ceilings and walls have elaborate geometric designs like those found in the other sandstone buildings in the complex. At the far end of the complex, two grand red sandstone buildings that mirror each other and face the sides of the tomb. The backs of the buildings parallel the western and eastern walls. The western building is a mosque and the other is the jawab. The mosque basic design of a long hall surmounted by three domes is similar to others built by Sultan Shah Jahan, particularly the Masjid e Jahan Numa, Jama Masjid Delhi. The large double-storied dome chamber, which houses the cenotaphs of Princess Mumtaz Mahal and Sultan Shah Jahan. The exquisite octagonal marble lattice screen, encircling both cenotaphs, is a piece of superb workmanship. The cenotaph of Mumtaz Mahal is in perfect center of the tomb chamber. The cenotaph of Sultan Shah Jahan is greater than Princess Mumtaz Mahal, and installed more than 30 years later, by the side of the latter on its west. Cenotaph placed on a rectangular platform, decorated with inlaid flower plant motifs. The upper cenotaphs are only illusory, and the real grave are in the lower tomb chamber. The 99 names of Allah are calligraphic inscriptions on the sides of the actual tomb of Princess Mumtaz Mahal. Tomb of Sultan Shah Jahan bears a calligraphic inscription that reads, He travelled from this world to the eternity, on the night of the 26th of the month, Rajab, in the year, Ek Hajar Shattatar Hijri. A UNESCO World Heritage Taj Mahal is the final resting place of Princess Mumtaz Mahal and Mughal Sultan Shah Jahan. Thank you.